All right, team, what's going on? I'm back again to answer some more questions. So uh, let's just dive right into it. I had a lot of questions come in through uh, email, Facebook messages, uh, and uh, some comments on the videos. Um, the first question that I'm going to answer is, what do I bring with me when uh, I go out with a trainer? Well, before you even worry about what you bring with you, the first thing you need to know is the truck that you're going to be in, that's the trainer's truck. Okay, No matter uh, how you look at it, he's responsible for that truck, for the load, for you, for uh, you know everything. So uh, remember that space is limited, okay? And he's already going to have the majority of his stuff in all the space on the truck. So you're not going to be able to bring everything you want to bring with you. So you need to just remember to bring the essentials. I would suggest uh, about seven days worth of clothes, okay? And uh, remember, uh, seasons change, and you can travel a great distance in one day, so you can go from hot weather to cold weather, so you need to make sure that you're prepared. Make sure it all fits in probably one duffel bag, one good-sized duffel bag. And, uh, you know, uh, that way it can stay out of the way and uh, it's out of your way, it's out of his way, and it can be easily stored in the truck so it's not flying all over the place. And uh, so, big duffel bag, uh, seven days worth of clothes. Remember to pack for the season that you're in and uh, you know the season that you're coming up on also. So like right now, we're uh, in the summer, coming into fall, going into winter, so if I was going out now, I would pack you know, a couple pairs of shorts, but a lot of, I would pack jeans, a sweater, you never know, because up north, it's starting to get cold already. Um, make sure you have your your cell phone charger. You always want to make sure you do that. That way you don't have to buy it on the road. Things at the truck stops are very expensive, okay? Something that might cost you five or six dollars at Walmart will be 20 bucks at a truck stop. No joke. Um, find out if your trainer has a fridge on the truck. More than likely you'll get a phone call from him before he even picks you up. So make sure you uh, ask all your questions that you can right away and you know, hey, can I bring some canned food with me? Can I bring this with me? Uh, you know, how much space is there for uh, me to bring food or whatever? Uh, if there's no space for you to bring food, remember that you're gonna have to you're gonna have to learn how to eat frivolously on the road. Okay, uh, a good way, a good suggestion is uh, my trainer, uh, who is uh, Dan Bird. He uh, runs out of Reno, the same terminal as me. Uh, awesome guy what's up grand peasy we call him grand peasy because he like he likes nap times and movie time but uh anyways uh if you see him out on the road he looks like an asshole he got big red goatee and stuff walks around like this all buff his truck number is 182138 you find him it's a it's a volvo okay but anyways a good trick that uh that he shot he showed me uh is a uh, subway okay uh you can get a foot long at Subway for five bucks, okay, five dollars. Now, when you get your your sandwich, have them wrap it separately, okay, and eat half of it when you get it, and save the other half for later, okay. So then you're eating lunch for two dollars and fifty cents. You understand? And you got a snack for two dollars and fifty cents right there. That's five bucks right there. I mean, that's cheap right there. That's cheap. So. Uh, I mean, keep that in mind. That's a good trick. Uh, anytime you can split things like that and kind of, you know, it saves yourself money because when you're training, you know you're not making that much. Um, let's see. So, and, and make sure you, make sure, like I said, make sure you have your cell phone, uh, your, your cell phone charger. You don't want to have to buy that. Uh, I doubt you will be able to bring a laptop. You may ask your trainer if there's space for you to do that. But, uh, you know, just make sure you bring a pair of uh, good work gloves. Um, let's see, what else is there? Uh, bring, you know, ma make sure when you make your, your shower bag too, make sure you bring flip-flops. And you want ones that are probably about, uh, I'd say anywhere from half an inch or bigger. Uh, when you go in the truck stops and you shower, you know, you don't want to be standing in someone else's dirt that's in the shower floor. So make sure you bring shower shoes, okay? <clears throat> but don't wear them while you're getting fuel, dirty mother truckers. Um, 
I mean, honestly, other than that, you don't really need much. Your trainer's gonna have everything already for, you know, to be able to run the truck. You know, he's gonna have, he's gonna have an air gauge, he's gonna have all that kind of stuff. So, you know, don't, don't worry about bringing that kind of thing. Um, so we covered clothes in a duffel bag, seven days worth. Remember, pack for the seasons. You wanna make sure you bring flippy floppies for taking a shower, okay? Work gloves and cell phone charger. And uh, remember, save your money while you're training. Don't go buying everything you see your trainer buy or uh, anything like that because you need to send some home to your family. And you need, I mean, you need to keep money for yourself. Eating on the road is expensive, okay? It is expensive. Most of us out here, I'm telling you, I don't care who says what, most of us out here, we penny pinch and we try to uh, try to eat on the truck as much as you can. Um, you know, I mean, that's the whole idea. You don't want to be spending what you're making, okay? So uh, keep that in mind. Now, <clears throat> hopefully I covered everything. If you guys think of anything, uh, you seasoned drivers out there, if you think of anything that I forgot, leave a, a uh, comment uh, below. And uh, I hope you guys all checked out Indiana Jack too, by the way. Great guy. Um, so, uh, we're going to make this like a couple part video because uh, the other question I was asked are what things that I recommend that you have on the truck when you go solo. Okay. Uh, map books, GPSs, uh, electronics, uh, anything like that. But these are, here's a, these are a few things I'm going to go over. We'll call this part one that I'm going to go over that you need to make sure that you have on your truck. Okay, now, first things first, one of the most important tools for any truck driver, right here, Road Atlas, baby. And uh, you make sure you get the, uh, if you buy it before you go solo, which I do suggest if you buy it at home, don't try not to buy it at a truck stop, buy it at the Walmart or uh, <clears throat> like a Target or something like that, you'll save a couple bucks. But, um, uh, make sure that you get the commercial version, okay? Uh, more than likely, it's got a picture of a truck. This is a 2014. I know the 2015 is out already. But make sure you get this one. And I definitely recommend the Ram McNally, okay? It's the only way to go when it comes to maps. Uh, these guys know what they're doing. They've been doing it for years and years. So uh, they're very, very trusted. And uh, we'll talk about them when we get into the GPS also. Uh, but make sure you get the uh, Ram McNally commercial map book, okay? Another thing you're going to need to make sure that's on your truck when you get it should be provided by your uh, by your uh, carrier, whoever it is you're working for. You want to have safety regs, hazmat, emergency response. They should all be on your truck. Keep them close by the door. <clears throat> Another thing you need. One of these puppies right here. This tells you where every truck stop is, every rest area is on any major road in the U.S. It's got it all broken down. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I can tell you that right here. There's Ohio. See that'll focus up. And you can see that that tells you everything. Okay, another thing you want to check your truck for when you get it. Uh, night does theirs like this. We got a folder on the truck. It's got all of our uh, all our permits and everything for uh, state by state liquor licenses, tax exempt forms, uh, all that kind of stuff. Okay, it's got everything right inside of here. They keep it all organized and it's nice. And you still need to make sure that it's up to date. Okay, because if you get an older truck and it hasn't been ran in a while, you might have uh, expired permits in it. Another thing that Night gives us, we all have cell phones with uh, cameras and stuff on them. But they also give us these. These are uh, little disposable cameras. So like if you're in an accident or something like that, maybe your phone dies, who knows? You can take pictures of everything and get it developed later so that you can prove that uh, you're not at fault for anything. So uh, we'll call that part one. Remember, truck stop book, hazmat books, Ram McNally. Ram McNally, big name, Ram McNally. Screw everybody else. Make sure your truck's got the little cameras on it and uh, talk at you in part two. Take care guys, like, comment, subscribe. Be safe out there.